Hey, how are you all this evening? This is going to be an American reversion video, but I'm also going to put it on uh, integrative preparedness because it, it affects everybody in, 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 in both of those interests. It, it is so disgusting. Uh, I want everybody to hear this. You'll, hopefully you'll hear about this eventually anyway, but I, I had to get on here and I needed to do it tonight because I've already got a long list of videos to make in the morning. Uh, and so I'll get this out there. Uh, essentially, the Border Patrol, okay, I, as a matter of fact, I'm going to read from an article in the New York Post. Border Patrol admits it's responsible for open floodgates and Arizona border wall, but it's worse than that. They welded the floodgates open so they could not be shut. Not the Border Patrol guys, okay? Not the guys on the ground who are, who are they're fighting a good fight. But the people upstairs, it is always the people at the top that are the problem. Now, there, there's some problems lower, but, but that's it. I want to read this to you. Uh, okay, Border Patrol admits it's responsible for open floodgates and Arizona border wall. And I know it's dark in here, but it's, it's, it's late. Late in the evening, if you hear that noise behind you, it's our air filters going on. We keep air filters uh, going around here. I usually turn them off when I make a video, but uh, I'm not going to bother with it now. Okay. The U.S. Border Patrol has now admitted it's responsible for the decision to leave giant floodgates in the border wall wide open, giving thousands of illegal immigrants an easy opportunity to stream into Arizona. The bad part comes in a minute. After some initial finger-pointing at other federal agencies, the agency took ownership for making the call. USBP makes the final decision on opening gates based on operational conditions and forecasted weather, the agency said in a statement to the Post. Yeah, that's bureau speak. Cartels are exploiting the situation, of course, because the cartels, uh, well, they... <laughs> <laughs> they, wanted to, they, they want their money, and so they're going to work with the people in our government who want to destroy our country, right? And they're smart. Cartels are exploiting the situation, dropping off migrants by the busload so they can casually walk into the U.S. through the open doors and hand themselves over to border agents as the Post witnessed firsthand west of remote Lukeville, Arizona, at the weekend. Yeah, the, the Border Patrol guys, they don't have time to do anything except process these people who are turning themselves in and change diaper and get formula for, for uh, the babies. Last Friday, Customs and Border Patrol uh, released their latest operational figures showing the border sector at Tucson. I was thrown in the Border Patrol Husqvarna in Nogales many years ago. I'll tell a story about that sometime. Uh, which includes the area with the open floodgates has become the busiest in the country with Border Patrol encountering 42,561 people trying to cross legally and illegally into the country in July. 42,000 people in one month. A couple of weeks earlier, Border Patrol agents acting on superior's orders, listen to this, welded some 114 gates open to stop anyone from closing them, which the agents had repeatedly been doing in a bid to stop people from being able to cross the border. When the Post first reached out to CPB, or CBP, the parent agency of the Border Patrol, we were directed to other federal agencies who were allegedly involved in making the decision to leave the border doors open. However, when the Post reached the other agencies, they said it had nothing to do with them. Of course not, because the upper echelon of the CBP lied. Lied? Are government officials lying? CBP operates and maintains the gates, U.S. International Boundary and Water Commission spokesman Frank Fisher said after his agency was initially earmarked as potentially being behind the blunder. CBP later provided background explaining the storm gates are normally kept shut but are open during the annual monsoon season, which Arizona is currently experiencing, to prevent the border wall from being damaged. High water flow combined with excessive sediment and debris buildup can stress or compromise the design integrity of the barrier. Yeah, good catch. 
Once the rain or flood event is over and the debris and sediment are removed, the gates can be closed and secured. Uh, interesting thing is what these being welded shut or welded open, they can't be shut. Okay, and all these people running across the border, I, I don't see any of them running through the monsoons. I've been out there during the monsoon season, and it's not like you know, 24 hours a day. If the doors are open, they also allow a certain variety of antelope, the pronghorn, to wander between the U.S. and Mexico freely as part of their natural habitat. About 1,400 migrants a day from as far away as China and Egypt, as well as Central and South America countries, are walking through the open gates, then looking for a Border Patrol agent to surrender to and claim asylum. Here I am. Those gates should never be open, fumed Brandon Judd, the president of the National Border Patrol Union. In my opinion, and in Border Patrol agents' opinion, those gates should never come open. Judd believes the agency higher-ups who made the decision should be hammered. Hammered, they ought to be fired and put in prison. For not only allowing illegal immigrants in, but endangering agents' lives. Judd previously said that the huge influx of the gates is a, is a sign cartels are exploiting them and bringing the people to the border. Of course they are. He said because the cartels are constantly surveilling what we do, the moment uh, something gets left open, it gets exploited. Right. Like a good competitor, right? In this particular case, it exploded almost immediately, which shows you how adept the criminal cartels are at exploiting any weakness at any time that we show them. Those gates should never open up. What would be the reason for it? Why? Why would you do it? Neither the Border Patrol or CBP replied to our request for comment asking whether the agency had any plans to close the border gates. Well, there you have it, muchachos. Our government, the high-ups at CBP, ordered that 114 gates in the wall be welded open so they cannot be closed and keep immigrants out. What more do you need than that? What more do we need? If this isn't the most disgusting thing, if this doesn't infuriate people, if this doesn't show that the enemy of our country is our government, I don't know what does. So there you have it. Spread this to people, please. Spread this around. Send this to people. You know, a, a lot of people won't hear about this unless you do. You know, I, I, I'll say, hey, send it to your elected representative or whatever. You know, well, you know, it, it won't do any good in many cases. It'll do some good depending on how mad you are and how many notices they get. And depending on whether or not they think they can hide from it. But, you know. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that gets, needs to get out to more and more people. So what you do with it, do with it. I won't even close with any of my closings because I'm just so disgusted. I'll talk to you later.